Hello YouTube, Flabless Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a .gif or GIF file as your iPhone or iPod Touch's background. I assume that you already know how to SSH in your iPhone or iPod Touch, so if you don't know how to do that, I suggest that you go look it up and then come back to my video. What you need to do is open up your web browser and find a GIF file that you like. Right click it, go to save image as, remember where you're saving it, and the name of the file. Click save. SSH into your iPhone or iPod. On the left, you will find your GIF file that you just saved. Mine's right there. And then on the right, go to private var stash themes. Below all the files, right click new directory, name it whatever you want as long as the extension is theme, that T H E M E, like a normal file. I'll have an example on the right of the video, such as everything else. And then once that loads up, you will open it, and then drag your GIF file over here you probably won't see that pop up and then go to new file name it wallpaper.html that thing will pop up and then copy and paste the code that I already have prepared for you into it. You'll notice that the um, value for source, or SRC, is empty between the quotation marks. This is where you're going to put your file extension. So you need to go to your GIF file that you saved, right click it, go to file names, and then Copy to clipboard, include paths. Oops. And then go back to your um, HTML file that you just created. And then right click, paste. And then up in the bottom, top left corner, you'll c click that floppy drive to save it. should look like that. Now, go to Winterboard on your iPod, and load up your file. If iTunes doesn't screw everything up, shouldn't for you, it just does it for me because uh, the docking connector is bad. Unlock your iPod or iPhone. Oops, didn't work. Let's see what could be wrong with it. Uh oh, too many quotations. So just to um, make sure you don't have too many quotations, just one set of quotation marks. Uh, save the changes, then try again. <laughs> I'm retarded, learn from my mistakes. Please don't get too mad at my awesome camera work. There we go. Come on. There. 
because you see it worked. Sometimes the quality of the image will be weird, but if you don't set it to the full screen, it's going to sit there, there in the top left corner, and you're not going to be able to see it very well. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and thanks for watching.